This is such an important segment because since 1995, Dolly's Imagination Library program has provided one free book per month for children ages um, preschool to five years. And that's all in an effort to promote literacy and fostering a love of reading, which is so, so important. Dolly is going to tell us more about this wonderful, life-changing program that she's put together. And joining us also for this conversation is the president of the Dollywood Foundation, David Dotson. Welcome, David. Welcome. Yes, David. welcome, David. He's the greatest guy. He helps so much with this whole program. And he I keeps hear it that, rolling. that your dad, Lee uh, Parton, and also a little green bucket uh, was inspiring you to start the Imagination Library. Well, actually, that's my dad's lunch bucket, for real. My dad oh. worked really hard. My dad never had a chance to go to school. He uh, couldn't read nor write. But my dad was one of the smartest people I've ever known in spite of that. So that was what inspired me to start the program all those many years ago. And it was so popular in our area that uh, the governor of Tennessee, Phil Bredesen at that time, well, he contacted us, and uh, so we took it all over Tennessee. Mm -hmm. And now you want to tell them what else is doing, David? Well, you know, the, the impact has been so amazing when you think of the numbers. Right now, we're just sh short of a million children a month participating wow. in the Imagination Library. Wow. Yeah. That's amazing. Tennessee, then we got all over, you know, the United States, into Canada, and now we're in Scotland and uh, yeah, Australia, Australia, Canada, and, Canada. and are actually doing a little work now in Belize. So, so the, you know, the numbers are wonderful, but the stories are really what makes the difference. The parents, the emails, the letters, and the, my most favorite of all is uh, in, from the UK, where we do the Imagination Library for the foster care children in mm -hmm. some communities, and this um, dad contacted me and said. We could never have a child. We decided we would like to adopt. We met our son in foster care, but we could never bring him home till the time was right. And when they finally went to pick him up, he had no belongings except for a little bag, but a big stack of books. And he said, well, how does he have these books? And the social worker said, uh, Dolly's Imagination Library provides these foster care children with a book every single month. She said, so they came home, they got the books, and he said, I wanted to let you know that my love and relationship for my son was born with those books oh that night. Oh my goodness, oh, what a beautiful story. What a great story. Yeah, I love that. Yeah. Um, when you hear things like that, how does that make you feel? Well, it makes me feel really special because I know one of the things that I'm proudest of and my dad was so proud of because my dad was very proud of me being a star and all, but see, I, I drew my dad into helping me get this all started, so I let that be. He felt like he was getting to do something great, and my dad got to live long enough to see it, but he was, it just pleased him so much when all the little kids, they refer to me as the book lady, because yeah. they get these <laughs> books in the mail with their little name on it, you know, so they were going to grab that book and go, so I just, it just touches me to know that I've touched so many people, and I couldn't do it without the help of David and all the wonderful people that we have in the, the Imagination Library, the Dollywood Foundation. Well, not, not only that, but you are celebrating and, and recognizing teachers who yes. are making a difference. And it's really teachers who, are, who have faced adversity. And you award them and you acknowledge them with this award. It's the Chasing Rainbow Award. Yes. Um, and there was one particular recipient we're meeting here soon. Um, but, but tell us about how did she stand out? How did you come to get to know her? Well, actually, we every year we give this award away to some special teacher that's overcome all sorts of problems to actually inspire and get out there. But this particular girl today, this lady, I should say. David, you want to talk about this? Sure, yes. She, um, this particular recipient um, lost her vision at an early age and went through a, a difficult time because of that, but then found her calling and found her focus and found her passion in teaching. So although she lost her sight, she never lost her vision. Oh, I love that. Wow, wow. that's fantastic. That's true. Uh -huh. You know, nicely put. <laughs> what do you, Dolly, when you hear, like, you, I'm sure you look at the stories and the applicants that come in, and then you hear her story. 
What was your reaction? Oh, your it touched me so deep because she really had so many other things that David didn't even mention mm -hmm. that she had to overcome. But it's just amazing, to the human spirit. You know, that it makes me feel so good to even be part of any of that because I try to be an inspiration. I hope to be. I always yeah. want to try to do things to uplift people. But uh, I've, at least I can see, I can do, yeah. so I can get out there and do things. But to people that really overcome things like that and still manage, you that's know, to make such a difference, that's when you really know, you know, that God is, yeah. is great and he's working with all of us. You know, you know we're going to get ready right now to meet the woman of the hour, Kathy and Nacho, please come out. Here we go. Right. Here we go. Come on, hi, come on out. We're gonna turn a little bit. Oh, to hello the there. And this is Nacho. Got Nacho the dog. Hello there. Nice meeting you. Can I give you a hug? Yeah. <laughs> uh, and David Dodson's right yes, here. I know, I know Kathy. Hello, Nacho. Don't you embarrass me now. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. Well, Good boy, Nacho. Good boy. <laughs> Kathy is standing next to Dolly. How does it feel to meet the book lady herself? Oh, I'm just overwhelmed of all the incredible things that have happened in my life. This is right up there. I'm so pleased and so honored. Well, we're just proud of you and so honored to have someone like you just be in our presence. I think it's amazing what you've done. Thank you. Well, David, I hand it off to you now in, yeah, in your so, presentation. So, Kathy, you know, for our 2016 Chasing Rainbows Award, we had, of course, there's so many wonderful teachers and working with the National State Teachers of the Year organization. We always get the very best of the best, but I think we got the best of the best of the best this year. <laughs> and it's my honor and Dolly's honor to present you the 2016 award, which we're rolling Roll out here. And your thing out name here. will be engraved. It's an amazing This award, will, this award sits at the Chasing Rainbows Museum, so everybody who comes to Dollywood can come and read the names and share the stories of wonderful and inspiring teachers like yourself. Thank you. Well, and, anyway, congratulations. And we couldn't, Thanks. by the way, we can't, we can't leave Nacho out of this because he is so, <laughs> such an integral part. Dolly, would you mind if, if I asked you to get that um, collar that <laughs> yes, we made specifically we for Nacho? There, it's just oh. wonderful. You can give that to Kathy. <laughs> Kathy, and here's that. a rhinestone. Nacho's got a rhinestone dazzle collar. Purple. Nacho's got a rhinestone dazzle collar. Oh, there you go.